Now, when one thinks of ancient Egypt, often what immediately comes to mind are huge colossal sculptures, elaborate temple facades and polychrome decoration. But what I have here are three monochrome minimalist vases on a very small scale. Now, these were luxury objects made for the elite of society. The first barrel-shaped vase uh, is from the pre-dynastic period, before the first pharaohs were ruling Egypt, which was about 3500 to 3200 BC. The other two date to the mid-third millennium BC. They're all carved from a black and white stone, um, black being a particularly important colour for the ancient Egyptians. It was associated with Osiris, who was lord of the underworld, to the Egyptians, the afterlife represented a chance to live on, but it's hard to know exactly what they surrounded themselves with in lifetime, but certainly they were buried with these objects, and many show signs of use which indicates they will have treasured them and indeed used them during their lifetimes. Now what's so remarkable about these objects is not only how the shape and the material transcends time, but indeed how well they were made and the condition that they are in now. Considering the tools that they had of the period, it is quite remarkable that they managed to make these at all. First, they would have been chiselled from large blocks of this very interesting stone. Then to make the holes in the centre, they will have used a bow drill. What's fantastic is you'll find on these vases, and particularly on this more squat example, that it has a very large overhang. That alone, when you aren't using some form of hand drill, is really impressive and it's very smooth on the interior too. They also have these lug handles which have been drilled from both sides. And then finally you can see, and this is what blows my mind still, is the amazing polish that's on them, this wonderful sheen that creates, it almost looks like the piece has been glazed. It's very beautiful and as you can tell from the way I'm turning it, incredibly heavy. So whilst there was no marble in Egypt, what they were blessed with was a huge variety of coloured and speckled stones. These two are both made of andesite porphyry. Now the one on the left, the open bowl, one of the beautiful details to this is that in the centre of the bowl is a depression that is the exact same diameter as the base. And what a pleasing shape the profile holds as well. The smallest and oldest of these vases is probably the most unusual in the way the stone has formed. It starts, it almost looks like a, a black basalt, but then there are these amazing white to grey veins that run in rather severe lines through it. It has this amazing delicate kick to the base and a very thin lip. And these tiny lug handles, again drilled from both sides. And what's really remarkable about these vases is that although they are 5,000 years old, their minimalist form makes them look completely at home in the drawing rooms of today.